welcome. Hello, hello. This afternoon, I would like to do Higgins. And I want to check, just check in with him. I'm reusing the Adventure Time Tarot cards because he's a man child and they remind me of kids. And we're just going to check and see what's going on in Higgins world. And then we'll move on to the rest of our list. Higgins is a Libra, so he's the justice card. And if anyone knows what the Albert's Pizza Shop is or Colin Albert's birthday or Allie McCabe's birthday, could you shoot him over? We have jumpers and we're ready. Okay. I didn't even cut them yet. We have the wheel. Let me see these. Okay. So we have the wheel, the Queen of Wands. McCabe is fire. Yep, there's McCabe. Oh boy. There's probably his mommy. I should check when his, I don't know if his mother is still alive or not, but I'm guessing he was a huge mama's boy. We have the Eight of Swords. That's the card that um, I see as no free will and Fim's Fortune sees this as witchcraft. That is the second time that we've gotten witchcraft. I can just say it. If there is witchcraft, it's not done by a real practitioner. It's like, so I don't know if anyone's doing it, but it is the second time we've gotten it, so it's, I'll be mindful of it. Um, it's not real magic. I know it. I have studied all of that, and I can, if anyone has any spells that you feel like you have a spell on you, or you know someone that practices magic, I do that, so I can break it for you. Um, well, there's a new way to do it. Now you return to send. You don't, when I was taught, you return to sender, but now the energy is so strong, it, a human body couldn't hold the energy, so you return to source or to love. So if anyone's struggling with that, that's a really random thing, but I felt called to say that. So we have witchcraft. It could be witchcraft or someone's being held against their will. We have the seven of coins. This is our hard worker from yesterday. He is a minion. He just works hard for his money. He doesn't talk much. He doesn't get into drama. We have the Queen of Cups here. The, oh, this is Karen. Oh, no, wait. She is a Pisces. Karen's a water sign. And we have the Queen of Wands. Here's Benefer. So this could either be Karen or I don't know what his mother's sign is. And if anyone does know, that'd be awesome if she's a water sign. I feel like he's probably a huge mama's boy. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. He spun the wheel and he <coughs> didn't spin right. Now we can, those were the jumpers. I haven't cut these yet. Three of coins, three's a party. Two of Cups, Death. So the most realistic, I, I was on the board on the same path. And I know that um, Truth and Transparency got that John walked into the house and then he somehow got turned around and perhaps maybe walked out. Oh, you know what? That actually and walked, instead of going left towards where Karen was parked, the front door, he went right and that's where Chloe was. And I did see on Reddit yesterday, or today sometime, that um, someone asked if John's arm had any t human teeth marks in it, asking if Jen McCabe's tooth was stuck in his arm. Not funny, but hilarious. We have death. The FBI, I think he's former FBI. He's an intelligence officer, a uh, re retired intelligence officer. And I think his channel's name is Truth Revealed. And he analyzes all of their testimonies as a linguist. And he thinks that it was John, John hit his head on Higgins' 
plow and that's how he died. That makes a lot of sense to me. How he got from the dog, I must have missed that part, but the this behavioral and now it's not the same kid I always watch, the hot one. What's his name? Uh, the six, uh, six minute x-ray, Chase. It's not Chase. It's another gut man. And he thinks that Higgins' body language on the stand and his linguistics show that it was Higgins that did it. So we have death here and death is literal. We have a page of wands. This could be the queen of wands, little son. We have the eight of wands, that's a fight. It's hard to take these cards that serious. They look, they look like little kid cards, but we're talking about something really serious. King of Swords, here's Benefer for real. This is Jen McCabe. She can certainly stand in her masculine all day long. And she's also right here, the Queen of Wands. So we have a king and a queen. She's the air sign. Well, Higgins reports to Benefer, like throughout this dynamic, because they're right here. And they're the only two archetypes that have shown up so far. The Page of Wands can be the little Albert. I didn't check Colin's birthday, I should have. I mean, here's a battle, Eight of Wands is a battle. We have an Eight of Swords, two eights. We also have death and we, this wheel. So we have battle and then we have death and we have the wheel, spun the wheel. We have the two of cups. This is marriage on our regular deck. This to me is decision, duality. Hmm. I'm gonna keep shuffling these. I might start. I'm gonna use some of Ashley's cards. I don't, I have to remember not to use these kid cards on true crime. It's hard to take it serious when I'm looking at like a mama holding a teddy. <laughs> but it's very sobering when you see, I mean, Ethan and John have both showed us this wheel. There's only two wheels in the tarot, the world and the wheel of fortune. Wheels are completion. And with death, I mean, it couldn't be any clearer. Actually, you know what? I think death is the first, I think he's the first one who has actually gotten death, which then it, um, that, I wish I had paid more attention to that book. And I can't, I don't know his name, but it's, I think it's called Truth Revealed. I'll tag him below. He thinks that Higgins did it, dragged him into the garage because other people were around. Like he thinks it happened right when he got there. And that actually might go with Truth and Transparency's timeline that he walked in and maybe Chloe was in the garage or something. Well, he thinks that he dragged him into the garage and sat him up and then had to go tell Higgins what happened. And I know that there's an, like other ideas going around that somehow Colin and Brian like beat him. I'm not knock or saying that's out either sounds like a lot of things happened in a really quick amount of time. Plus, if it's just one punch and he gets knocked out, I think Alan Jackson said this, 
you get knocked out, first punch, and then the behavioral guy said he fell back and hit his head on the plow. That would take like 20 seconds. So we're gonna check Ashley's deck. He was a huge, or John Higgins is a huge mama's boy, I think. He's a, a man child. He, he actually might have had a pretty good past on, in terms of ethical decisions. He just likes to work hard. One of the cards jumped. Pattern repetition. Oh, maybe he has a pattern of this. Getting jealous and psycho. I mean, they like text. If you believe those texts, I don't buy. I mean, they're not real. The internet's already proven that they're not real. So if we believe those texts, and that they like had a perhaps made out. So they went to first base and he's like in love with her. And I think he's a, I think he might have a pattern of, um, you know, he's like stage five clinger. Go on a date and he wants to marry you. <laughs> Sounds fun. Um, and we have a distraction. I think that Karen, Reed was just trying to make John jealous. And we have a page of wands. Pages are messengers. And we have premeditated right here. Okay, wait a second. This is like that night from the footage at the bar. They're all like, trying to get John to go and they're not really friends. It, he was coerced. So we have pattern, rec uh, re pattern repetition, which could be stage five player. He meets a girl and thinks he's gonna marry her. Too bad he didn't meet the right girl. That would have been a fun thing if you were that girl. If you weren't, that's weird. Then we have a distraction, distraction. And we have premeditated. And I've seen all the, or most of the, hopefully all the comments I've seen that are talking about like, what did John know? I did a reading on that. I got it art. It was like a couple weeks ago now. And whatever he figured out, he was writing on his like cop notebook. You know, the, my husband was a cop. You just like jot stuff down. That's what I was getting. It's in his house though. It's not in, it's like at his house and it's in his cop notebook, the notes that we're looking for. Oh, so anyway, uh, premeditated. I also think, I know that there are some questions or rumors about co him turning Colin in for drug, for dealing. I don't think based on just this week of readings, I think it was much bigger. I think that it would have been one of the Albert senior. I think it was probably Brian Albert perhaps Chris, they are involved in something that's much bigger than Colin dealing dope. Like this is this, we're talking big, like at least national. And it wouldn't be that hard to make it international. We're only three, Boston's about like five hours from Canada. There's an international. And so I think, I don't think, perhaps Colin was involved because it's like family business, but what we've seen is much bigger. Someone also said that he was involved in registering sex offenders. I think what he figured out was this tunnel system thing that we figured out. I don't, I don't know if he went to the feds. I think I saw that in a comment. <laughs> But yeah, actually, I think that there's more to Higgins too, shocker. This is telling us, like, I'm gonna clear these. I don't like these little kid cards, it's weird. I mean, we're talking about bodies and stuff and I have like a mom holding a teddy bear, it's weird. I might pull some more, but Ashley's cards are telling us that this was premeditated, a distraction and pattern repetition, stage five player in outer space. 
Oh boy. I'm gonna use the regular deck. Hmm. Here we go. Good old boys. I just want to get some clarification. So pretty much what just happened was Benifer showed up reminding us that they're in charge. I feel like Benifer is about to become our um, living roommate from the Idaho case. Slept through the massacre. Yeah, I believe that. And I think she just had her sticky fingers and everything. She always had to know what was going on. Benifer's showing up every single reading. Now that I know what she is. Remember when we did that? Fire lesson. I want to go find that because I think we're all going to need it again. And I'm just going to pull these cards too and just see what else is going on. Ace of Swords, you just got that. Ace of Wands, there's D card. Oh no. So you guys can see these. These are Ashley's. Ashley over at The Reckoning. I give her a shout out every day because I love her and because I love her deck. We just, uh, you've gotta be kidding me. I can't believe this. Here's Benifer, literally. Oh, and Justice is, um, oh, Higgins. Sorry, these were flipped looking at me. Here's Higgins, here's Benifer. Here are two aces. Here's your contract, sign it and shut up. Here's the D, creative inspiration. If you're thinking of like something that's not the D. Well, hmm. so this is beginning to paint quite a story. This was a premeditated situation. I think, I don't think perhaps the actual was premeditated. I don't think that they would have planned to leave a body on their front lawn though if it was if it was premeditated. I don't know. I mean, I guess because everyone knew he was going there. Like why didn't and they live kind of they live near the city, it sounds like. I guess like where would you just dump a body? That's weird. So they were trying to distract him. It was premeditated pattern repetition. That's the part that I'm a little nervous about. Is that a pattern repetition of being a stage five clinger, like Higgins is a stage five clinger? Or is that this kind of behavior? Like how many bodies have been at their house? That's weird. We have our contract. We have sticky this isn't sticky fingers in this case but she's benefer this is higgins justice justice is a good sign for us perhaps not for these jailbirds depending on which side of the ground they're on and the d is our this is our only fans it has been in the past only fans I'm going to move these over so you guys can see them. I'll move these up here. I don't know what outer space means yet. They sent them to outer space. They we have two aces, two new beginnings. We have Benifer. I'm gonna keep premeditated right on Benifer. And we have the Justice card, pattern repetition. That could be a number of things. We also, I'm going to keep,
Eight of Cups, walking away from what no longer serves him. We just got this for um, Proctor, too. Here's Benifer's other half, King of Swords. We also, so we have Benifer, the full couples here, and we have Higgins himself. We also have the Knight of Swords. This kid's running in. He already has, I mean, his sword is drawn. Isn't that a saying? Live by the sword, die by the sword. We have a magician that's smoking mirrors. We have justice, pattern, repetition. Can you see these? Okay. Two cups. You just got this in the little kid, whatever that's, deck. So he's walking away from something that no longer serves him. I feel like this was all hands on deck. And the magician is smoking mirrors. Two is a decision to make. Here's ride or die, high priestess. Can you see that's so good? He just got this nine of pentacles. Somebody, here's money. Somebody got paid off. And I saw the comment that they didn't buy another house, they got an apartment. Hmm. So if you had an extra $500,000 hanging around. Here's the happy home, oh man, here's the happy home. I'm saying oh man, because here's Queen of Swords. Sticky Fingers is so far into this, she's like showing up as every archetype she possibly can. Here's our happy home. This is like, in some cases, really means happy home. Night of four case, this was like fake happy home. They always said their house was happy. No, it was not. Oh man. We also have this three of swords. This is a bro the ultimate broken heart. This is also Jen McCabe's sign, swords. Swords are highly intellectual and they're really, they're quick thinkers. They're good. They're adaptable like air. I mean, Paige, here's Colin, or Allie, or... This is the Page of Cups. We have two knights. Allie, I'm gonna... So Higgins was highly, highly involved in this, and he... I think he's a mama's boy. If we ever found out what his mom's birthday is, I bet you she's a water sign. Because we've gotten Queens of Cups, I think it was in the last reading or in the last poll, but here's the threes of the party. Come over. This is how they deceived Ethan. This is how they deceived John. Come to the party, it's gonna be really fun. Here's a page. He's just delivering the messages, perhaps bringing a gift. Here's a knight. This is this would be Colin Albert. He already showed up here though, I thought. Does Colin Albert have friends that, I guess of those, if he's on the hockey team, wherever he's talking about KO and all that stuff. I, maybe it was more than just Colin over there. These are, these are knights, so they're like, can be 17 to 25. Perhaps Colin had other friends over. I know that um, Albert Jr. was there. He seems like just a nice, genuine kid. He, he seemed pretty honest, comparatively speaking. Here's some more money with the two fours. How many fours do we have now? Mm. So fours are our foundational cards. This is, you can't build the house without, or you can't build anything without fours. And then here's, he could be stingy. 
He's holding on to his money. We have a lot of money here. Here's the Nine of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. This isn't money, like big money. This is just stingy. This is a payment, I'm saying. Hmm. Well, well, well. So we have two threes, two fours, two aces, premeditated. We have the high priestess, she's ride or die. Here's our stuck between a rock and a hard place. Hopefully you guys can see this. This is walking Michael Proctor. Oh, here's the king of pentacles. Here's our payoff. Here's the daddy Warbucks. We're gonna call him Benifer. So Higgins got paid off? What would be the incentive to pay Higgins off? Hmm. Benifer is definitely here. Proctor's stuck between the rocket. Here's the devil. Here's literally Brian Albert. But why would they pay Higgins off? Where did my nine? All right. So I watched the trial and I think Higgins got paid off or maybe Higgins paid someone off. There's Brian straight up with his little wife, not his wife, his sister. His wife's sister. That's like right out of, um, what was that talk show in the morning? When I was in high school, it was in the afternoons. People would like throw chairs, it was so trashy. It was entertaining. Here's another wheel. We just got this in the last poll too. This is the end, it's over. They spun the wheel. Who's the moon? Here's Karen Reed. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to, so I wonder, now I'm confused because it almost is looking like Higgins got paid off or Higgins is the money. Let's see what else Ashley's cards have to say. That's confusing. Democrat, wow, well, here's Idaho. I don't know if they have any connections Oh, I wonder what Michael Morrissey is. Does he run as a president or as a Democrat? The Clintons do. <laughs> hmm. He also, this is just a side note. Obama also has like the highest kill rate of any president we've ever had because of this drone strikes. They don't print that in the American newspapers. I have to get my news from like England because ours is very fun. So, this is confusing because there's an accident. There's money. There was an accident and there's money and it was premeditated. <laughs> there's a secret trip right here. So I'm confused now it, it's looking like either they paid Higgins off. Man, the feds have all this information, I'm sure. Well, because they would have had to deposit that money somewhere from the house if they're renting now. I mean, here's money. Yeah, I mean, Guess, all right, so if we're using a logic, the people they would have paid off would be Proctor. I didn't even think of paying Higgins off. All 
All right, let's repull these. I'm, I have more questions. I don't, we don't have any, nothing's complete right now. And I'm confused about this because Benifer's here. Shocking. I think we're gonna have the same thing that we had in the last case. She shows up to everything. So it's already at a half an hour and we didn't get any answers. We have, I have more questions. I guess what we should do is clear it. I can reset sacred space. There's something weird that's going on with Higgins. Like, okay, why would they pay him off? That doesn't even make any sense. Especially if he Let's clear this and we're going to just read. 